What do I do to stop it? I've taken things away. I've had my nose broken three times. A lot of y'all ask me why I don't have an Instagram, which I find really weird because I've maybe promoted it a hundred times here on the channel. But just to get it to everybody, go follow my Instagram at PonchaWT. The link's gonna be down below in the description. And yeah, anyways, y'all, today we're gonna be watching another episode of Dr. Phil. You already know what the fuck it is. Today's episode, he has a gamer that shows up on the show. And as an ex-gamer, you know, I used to play video games pretty much every single day, maybe two hours a day minimum sometimes. You know, gaming has a lot of fun parts about it, but I mean, I'll keep it real. I'll keep it all the way real. There are a lot of downsides to it if you're addicted. And one of the downsides I've experienced is having a extremely straight face while i'm gaming and it just translates over to my real life experiences just because of how much i play video games so you know i'd be staring at a screen like and it got to the point where that became my normal face or i guess you could call it my resting face but i got addicted to video games really early i think i was around four years old and my first console was the wii so i was exposed to it really early and from ages four to 18, I was addicted. And listen, I'm not trying to say gaming's bad. It's fun, you can have fun with friends, all that good stuff. But regardless, we're gonna be taking a look at this Dr. Phil episode today. My 14 year old son, Nico, is absolutely addicted to his video games. Let me get the streak of six nine. Let me get the streak, no! I know, this is a third of y'all. I'm exposing y'all, your time is up. He'll be on this device for 17 hours a day sometimes. 17 hours? My dog, are, are you good? Like, are, are you functioning okay? Do you need like water? I know that Mountain Dew and Doritos isn't helping you out at all. You know, one stand up and he's out. I try to get Nico off video games, tell him that he's limited, he can only have five hours a day, and his answer is oh no. And you don't do nothing about it. I guarantee this is gonna be like most of the other Dr. Phil uh, episodes where the person complaining about another person ends up not being able to tell them no. Or not even just tell them no, because I'm sure she's told him plenty of times, but she's just not assertive. You get what I'm saying? Like she's probably, telling him one time and he's just like, oh, go fuck yourself, mom! And she's like, I... By the way, about what she said, five hours a day is your limit? Tell him that he's limited, he can only have five hours a day and... That's actually crazy. I remember when my mom used to like, really be pissed off at me playing video games as a kid. I think around the time when I was like, maybe 13 to 15 years old. And she would give me like, I think 30 minutes a day. That was all the time I had, but five hours you're giving him? Bro, that's like heaven to some kids. That's not gonna happen, and it's a fight. I asked you hours ago to clean up that mess. What's Let going me on? Oh, chill. Tame the beast, mom. Him now. Nico is the most spoiled child. Nico, get out! Stop it! Get out! Get off! Right the f now! Nico can get so angry, he will destroy everything in the house, anything in his path, anything that Nico can get his hands on will get destroyed. What is my computer? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but... He gets what he wants by bullying us and terrorizing this house. He'll pull his hair. Stop it, Nico. What the f... Bro, what the fuck is this kid on? I'd understand it a little bit more if it was like a eight-year-old, 10-year-old maybe. He might be that age, but he looks like he's like 14, 15. Start screaming if he's not on his devices. Nico, you mouth! <laughs> I take him off the internet and he immediately starts throwing things and breaking things and it's cost us thousands of dollars. Then why don't you put the hammer down? That's what I'm trying to ask or that's what I'm trying to figure out because you can blame the kid all day for what he's doing and how he's acting like a complete lunatic and how he's spending 17 hours on video games a day, but who's allowing it? You. The parent is supposed to be the person that sets the order in the house. And I know I'm sounding like a Karen right now, sets the order in the house, but y'all get what I'm saying, right? Like there has to be at least some sort of order in the crib to make sure crazy shit like this doesn't happen. And you even mentioned yourself, you let your kid bully you? Bruh, if my kid ever tried to bully me, fuck! Nah, I'm playing, but y'all get my point. Replacing everything that he's broken. <laughs> He'll bang his controller. If I don't give him what he wants, I'm gonna break this phone. Nico is not in school right now. He wants to be a YouTuber when he gets older and he doesn't need school. You know, I actually went to my old high school 
to talk to a, a class about my job, it was it was actually pretty surreal because I was like, damn, I'm I'm standing in my own high school right now, talking to kids that are like three years younger than me about my own career. If you want YouTube to be your job, you have to be realistic. I remember when I was like 13 years old and I decided, yeah, I wanna do YouTube. And you know, I never told my parents about it until I made my channel and I was already at like 200 subscribers and I told them, I was like, yo, I wanna grow this. Um, but I had to be realistic, which means, you know, I had to get a job. I had to go and get good grades in school or else my parents were gonna take away my shit. It's just how it was. You can't just be a slob and expect your your dreams to work out because you're not putting effort in any other area in your life how are you going to be putting effort into youtube if you don't even know how to put effort into other things you get what i'm saying like i was working full time doing college doing high school all this shit on my plate while i was trying to build this youtube channel and it ended up blowing up and really the reason why it blew up was because i knew what a work ethic was because of all these other experiences in my life i couldn't force Nico to get up and go. It was impossible. He's a very large child. I think Nico takes advantage of me more now because he knows that I'm disabled. I'm in a wheelchair and there's not much I can do. Ah, okay. So that's everything. I believe that's everything. So he just feels like he can walk all over you because you're in a wheelchair. Okay. He'll strike out and he'll hit me. Physically, I'm no match for him. He's a big kid and I have one leg. There's not much I can do. I feel our family is falling apart. We desperately need help to get everything back on track. It's absolutely out of control and I see it only getting worse. Hey, shout out to the mom, bro. Cause I know you're trying, you're in a wheelchair, you got one leg, you can't do much, I get it. Uh, shout out to the mom. I am about to break your nose like I did. How did it get this way where we have a child running the house? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why is that so funny to me? Where a child is running the house. Where we have it, where we have it. What do I do to stop it? I've taken things away. I've had my nose broken three times. Bro, you left that out of your little intro thing. Damn, I am angry now. I am angry at this kid. He broke his mom's nose three times? What the fuck? Bro, where is the dad? Where is the dad? Like, I obviously know he's right there, right? But where the fuck is dad? Where the fuck is dad? Uh -huh. What, I've gone, taken him to doctors. I have tried everything. Dad, what are you doing about this? When he starts getting into a rage and getting violent, I go upstairs in my, my studio, my music room, to avoid it. Yeah, you ain't holding it down. Come on, dad. You gotta do better, dad. But yeah, that's where the video ends. To be honest, my takeaway from it is, uh, dad needs to do a little bit more because the mom really can't do anything. She has one leg, bro. Like, what do you expect her to do? Hop over to her son to get her off the video game? Like, that's not realistic. She, hello? Bro, why do I have random numbers that call me on a daily basis and they just hang up? Let me know what y'all think about this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like if you want to. I'm not here to force you. And yeah, if you guys want to see more content, I got on the screen for you right now. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you. Peace.